Oh man. That was good. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. Buongiorno guys. Buongiorno. Hi, we're here at Italy in London, the biggest Italian market. The first one that's ever opened in the UK and we're here to explore get all the food that we can get and um, taste everything for you, so you don't have to. So here we are at our first stop. At Cucina del Mercato in yeah. Italy. Yeah, so we're going to try a couple of foods here. We're just going to chill for a bit and then we're going to explore a bit more around Italy. Yes. So be prepared to look at some nice gorgeous food and we're going to just explore now. Yay, let's go. Bye. Now we've ordered our food and we've just um, received our drinks. And I ordered a Bellini and for Roy he ordered a... Aureoli. 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 Cheers. Cheers guys. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's so good. I think we should just um, remove this. Obviously I ordered a rosé. <laughs> this will go nicely with some oysters that we ordered as well. If oysters is on the menu, we just have to get it. I have to. I have to get it. It looks so good. Let me just get my. Wow, that's some tough skin, though. Look at that. So right now we're going to try this mortadella ham. See how it tastes. Let's cut a little bit of this. Mm, it's got a nice flavour, like almost smoked, but mm, nice, nice ham. Just a fancy mm. ham. Mm. Mm. It's like it, a really smooth ham. Um, really smooth, right? Does it taste like spam? Kind of, right? It kind of reminds you of something. Mm. Oh no, this is going to be bad. Doesn't it taste like Vienna sausage? There's sausages in the tin can. <laughs> but in a really good oh, way. Oh, time for the burrata. So when I cut into this, it was kind of like a hard, a hard um, skin around it. So you literally need to slice into it. Okay, ready? Mm. Mm. Smoky. Smoke. It's really smooth inside. It's really gooey. It's just like a burrata, but a smaller one. But I can, I can really taste the smoke. You should try it. Mm. Mm. That smoke is quite an intense flavour for the burrata. It's a different flavour, yeah. for sure. Let's try it with the hand. Let's see if this mixes well together. Go. You're good at mm, That ham has so much like flavour to it. Yeah. And with the smokiness, it actually tastes like smoked ham. Oh. Yeah. It's quite good. Okay. Cheers guys. Mm, that's good. So food. I don't know what the fruit is, but it's almost like a cranberry. What's it called again? Can't remember. Orioli. 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 Try some, try some. 
Mm. Oh, that is very dangerous. <laughs> it tastes like juice. Yeah. It's, it's like, like juice. It's got, that? it's got gin in it. I've never had Campari before. It's got Campari oh, in it. Campari. Is that a gin? I have no idea. Oh, yum. Yum. Might have to order one, another one of those. Can I try my Bellini? Uh, go on then. <laughs> I believe it's a Bellini, right? Tastes like a Bellini. <laughs> <laughs> now, time for the oysters. Star of the show. Where are you going to start? I'll just start with this one. This looks the juiciest. She likes to use everything. Vinaigrette with shallots and pepper in there already. Oh, Whoa. that's a lot. Oh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> There is no pretty way of eating oysters. <laughs> right, let me make it pretty for you. No, just a bit. There you go. Nice. Okay, the tech is down. Cheers. That was smooth. Smoother than the last one. <laughs> how, how does it taste? Hmm? How does it taste? Like oysters. <laughs> there we go. We've got our food on the table now. So we've got the tagliatelle with truffle, cheese and asparagus. Yes. And then we've got on the side with some meat vegetables. And I got the special, the swordfish. This is the first time I'm having swordfish, so I'm hoping it tastes nice. It looks like a proper steak. So I'm set it on the side. There we go, swordfish. Looks nice and juicy. Oh, that smells. If only you could smell this. The grill. There we go. Oh man. Oh man. That was good. Yeah. It tastes like steak. Really? It tastes like steak. Really? Oh, that is so good. It looks amazing. It looks huge. Oh man. Wow. It looks really like it's not fish. Yeah. It looks more like pork. Yeah. Like pork steak. I gotta try it. It's like oh. it's like the fatty part of the steak. It's right? a, like the fatty part of the pork. Mmm, that's amazing. Mmm, God, that's amazing. A bigger piece. Oh, look at that. Looks like it's almost medium rare. Yeah. You can see the pink. I don't know if you can see it. The pinkness of the, the steak. But unlike unlike other fish, it's not flaky, right? which is really cool. So it's like a real like meat. It's meat. Mm. It looks flaky. Mm. So good. I'm so glad I chose this. Okay, let's try mine now. It's like literally asparagus with truffles. That is so good. It's a slight hint of truffles, but you can really taste it. Mm -hmm. And um, asparagus is nice and crunchy, it's not overcooked. It goes really well it. with the cheese. Mm -hmm. mm. You're gonna love this. That's just the right amount of truffle mm. on there. So it doesn't, like the cheese doesn't get overpowered by the truffle. Mm. That's good. And it works so well with the asparagus. Oh my god. I know. Oh. Mm. Let's carry on eating. Oh, let's try the vegetables. Mixed vegetables. Okay. I'm not really sure what's in this. Mm. That's an explosion of flavors. Some courgettes are oh, so nice. Kind of nice and tangy. 
Down again from the, the capers. Really good. Trying waist drink again. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty this is. Such a pretty glass. I'm going to try again. There's something familiar. It tastes like, if anyone knows what a zombie is, it tastes like a zombie. Just a little bit stronger. It's got that uh, bitter taste, but it tastes like a zombie. Mm. It's a really good drink. It's definitely better than my Bellini. <laughs> okay, we're just going to eat our food now and then um, uh, our guests try to enjoy as much as we can of this. We don't know yet if we're going to order dessert because we've got a lot more to explore. explore. Um, Have a look around. And uh, yeah, maybe order some more drinks here, chill out later on, maybe see the terrace and see if we can get a seat. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can. And um, yeah, I just really enjoy the food. So, we've just finished eating at Cucina del Mort. Mercato. Mercato. <laughs> I will never be able to say that properly. <laughs> But anyway, we've just finished the food there. It was amazing, as you can see previously. Um, we'll definitely re recommend people to come here and just try out some of their food. Also, just make sure you ask for recommendations because they know what they're talking about here. Yeah, the um, best thing we had was the swordfish. Yeah. Uh, it was. It just tasted like melting pork fat, steak fat in your mouth. It, it was. <laughs> A burst of flavour, and yeah, it was just like the best thing ever here. Um, but we we loved everything else, and um, that one is the, the one thing we can really, really recommend. recommend. So we haven't tried the other restaurants yet, but hopefully we'll be able to try the other restaurants at yeah. some point in our lives. Yeah. But for but now, all in all, all yeah. in all, we absolutely love this place. We will definitely come back, and um, I hope you guys check it out. Cucina del Mercato in Italy. Yeah. Okay. All right, now we're going to go explore a bit more of Italy, like check out the wines, maybe some of their produce and see what they're like. I'm so excited for some gelato. We are finally entering my absolute favorite place. I've been looking forward to this this whole time. Let's go check it out. Some little desserts. Gelato. Gelato, especially for me anyway. And some little, um, what do you call them? Cannolis. Cano yeah. We've got a few to try today. So hopefully uh, we'll get a lot, but we're not too sure because of the queue. <laughs> right now. Hopefully there's more left. Yeah, so let's see what we get. All right, see you in a bit. So we finally got our desserts. Um, we were queuing up for a while because we wanted a, a bit of everything. We wanted gelato, we also wanted some cakes and some coffee. Um, so we've managed to get two uh, of the gelatos, two cakes and two coffees. We'll just give that a go and give it a try and see if it's nice. I mean, the gelato is super melted right now. <laughs> I'm sure it'll still be fine. Gelato is gelato. Coffee. Coffee's always yum. And this is like a milk. Milk gelato with chocolate flakes. 
like a pop Italian milk. Mmm. Mmm. That one's really nice. There we go. That's the milk with the yeah, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. It's like it's not this the regular milk you expect from a like a milk ice cream. Mm. I'm not too sure what type of milk it is, but it tastes really good. Now time for the coffee. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is super melted now. Mm. That's really really good. It's like <laughs> it's actual coffee. <laughs> all right, let me try my pistachio before I can't. It's all creamy. There we go. Oh God, the mm. yeah, I love the session. And I also got hazelnut. There we go. Hazelnut pistachio never goes wrong. Now we're gonna try this meal for you. Let me try and cut into this. Oh so crumbly. This is the meal for you. Oh, that's really good. Is it better than the French ones? No, I think it's, it's pretty similar. <laughs> but I haven't had the milk fire for maybe over two to three years. So yeah. tasting it again is really, really good. The, the pastry is really crumbly, but nice and soft. Right. And the cream inside, nice and custardy. Let's try it. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. love your lips. <laughs> How do you find out? Really good. I don't know. I think it tastes the same as the French one. Yeah, that's what I say. It's pretty similar, but you know when you haven't had it for such a long time. Nice like crumbly buttery. Mm, really right. good. Mm. I'm gonna try the hazelnut dome. <laughs> it's got this biscuity base that's like creamy. <coughs> a face of struggle. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Take the top. Mm. It is yeah. like Ferrero. Yeah, but a fluffy Ferrero. <laughs> right. Oh, yummy. Did you try some of that biscuit at the bottom? No, I didn't actually. Let's try some of that biscuit. It's like a biscuity base. So here's that biscuit. Okay. Just Good. like a Ferrero. Mm. Just without the wafer. I wish there was wafer in here now. This is what they look like now. Completely ruined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our melted milk. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to just have our desserts, get this finished and um, enjoy the rest of the time here. Okay guys, that's the vlog for today. We're back home now. We decided to go back home and take ourselves for a long walk mm -hmm. because of all the food that we ate today. Yeah. It was amazing. Do check out Italy. Um, we had a lot of fun. We spent about six or seven hours there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Looking at all the produce they I have. did manage to buy my wine and a couple of other things, so I'm happy. Yeah. Um, but next time I'll definitely be looking to buy more for sure. All right, cool. We really recommend it, you should check it out. If you enjoyed the vlog, give us a like and a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye! bye.